When Hans Fuchs from Heidmüller in the Bavarian forest straps on his cross-country skis, he has more than 600 kilometers of challenging terrain to explore. Today, he's covering the area around the Dreisesselberg. The mountain is located just a few hundred meters from the Czech and Austrian border. The unique thing about this area is that you can cross-country ski cross-border, whether here in Bavaria, the Czech Republic or Austria, in this peaceful landscape, on beautiful trails that cover every level of difficulty. There's something for everyone. Fuchs is heading in the direction of Austria. After 10 kilometers of steep climbs and speedy descents, he reaches the Austrian border village of Schwarzenberg. He stops for a break in Stifterhof, which serves home-cooked cuisine with a gourmet flair. Cross-country skiers from all over the world replenish their energy reserves here. Nearby in Schöneben, there are regular races which attract the creme de la creme of cross-country skiing. Werner Eder is a ski instructor at Schönebens Long Distance Center, and we are accompanying him on the next stage of our Three Nation Tour. His favorite trail leads to the Moldaublick Lookout Tower. It offers a spectacular view over the border triangle. It's important to maintain this area as an unspoiled tourist area. That's what we want. The Böhmerwald Arena opened in 2009 in Schöneben. A multimedia exhibition provides information about the forest as a natural habitat. The Böhmerwald Horst Hotel is also part of the Böhmerwald Arena. Visitors can spend a night in these basic huts, just like the lumberjacks a century ago. Those who prefer more comfortable lodgings have to continue another 10 kilometers to reach the Almasberger, one of Austria's best spa hotels. After a night's rest, the trek continues towards the Czech Republic. The Bohemian Forest was a military no-go zone until the Iron Curtain fell 20 years ago. Here, Werner Eder crosses the border. No mass tourism, the forest, the meadows. You're surrounded by nature, and the conservation authorities on the Czech side are working hard to keep everything as is. Occasionally, the calm is broken by a snow grooming machine. My section covers the trails as far as Austria, to ensure that it's possible to move between the countries without a problem. The journey passes Lake Lipno and continues to the town of Horny Plana. The writer Adalbert Stifter was born here in 1805. Nature plays an integral role in his novels. Here, we meet Hans Fuchs again. After passing the northern slope of the Dreisesselberg, he crosses another border, this time from the Czech Republic into Germany. You really don't notice because you don't see a difference. It's all become a single unit. It's a region undivided by borders. It's simply the Bohemian Forest, an invigorating, beautiful cross-country skiing area. Hans Fuchs finishes his trek in the Riedelsbach Tavern, which serves up the best beers from the three countries. After quenching his thirst, Fuchs now only has to travel mere meters to reach his home.